Do you think English is a hard language to learn? If so, you're not alone. English students all over the world are complaining about the difficulty of English language with its irregular word tenses and spelling that doesn't seem to follow a logical pattern. But is it really as difficult as it seems? First of all, let's look at how English is hard and why is it? There's a strong evidence to support the claim that English is a difficult language to learn. English has a crazy spelling system and it seems like every word makes up its own pronunciation rules because English has borrowed so many words from other languages. In order to know how to read the spelling, you have to know which language it comes from or have previously heard the correct pronunciation. Irregular verbs in English are seemingly complex and are often a headache for English language learners. For example, why is the past tense of buy is bought? And why is the past tense of sell is sold? Why aren't buyed nor sold real words? In English, questions are made by changing the order of the words, something that doesn't exist in other languages. For example, you know, like many Europeans will say, you are American, instead of the correct, are you American? So word order is not only important when asking questions, but when describing nouns as well. English has very um, subtle word ordering rules that make a cute little brown dog, correct to say, whereas a brown cute little dog would be incorrect. So despite these difficulties, but English is actually the easiest language in the world to learn. You may think that I'm crazy for saying this, but allow me to explain. Unlike other languages, English has no cases, no gender, no word agreement, and arguably has a simple grammar system. English speakers sometimes have difficulties when learning Russian, for example, because uh, they are not used to words having genders. And the reason why English is the easiest language to learn is because of the vast selection of English resources to learn from. For example, including TV shows, movies, music, podcasts, books, and websites. English is the most studied foreign language in the world, and there are a ton of resources available to help speakers of each specific language learn English. And there are thousands, perhaps hundreds of thousands of books written about learning English as a foreign language that you can use to improve. In addition, there are a ton of great English learning blogs on the internet. So starting from a book will only get you so far though. You need to get contact to the real language as it's spoken by native speakers in order to speak the best language. You need to make um, a lifestyle out of English where you listen to music, you know, watching TV and reading English every day. The popularity of the English pop culture means that you don't have to look very far in order to find English language resources that you can improve or, sorry, incorporate into your daily life. So English will seem easy for you when you stop looking at it as something, you know, like, um, mechanical and start connecting to the culture that it comes from. You need to connect to the language on a deeper level by absorbing media produced in English. There are hundreds of 
TV shows in English that you can watch for free online even to help improve your language abilities. Watching in, I don't know, like the episodes of the TV show, like Friends is the popular one every day, can drastically improve your English. And it will help you understand the culture that comes with the language. You know, like no other languages can boost so many different types of TV shows that guarantee that they will be something that everyone will enjoy. So guys, the truth be told, it's pointless to ask whether English is a difficult language or an easy language to learn. If you want to believe that English is a difficult language, then I think you will find reasons to justify your belief that it's hard to learn. But if you believe that it's easy to learn, then you will find reasons to justify that belief. But what is most important to ask is if you are willing to devote yourself to the process of learning a language, which means having daily contact with the language and incorporating it into your lifestyle. Anything that is seemingly difficult can be accomplished if you consistently apply yourself to it and are committed to end result. So NASA, you know, like you know that about the NASA, right? They didn't bother asking whether it was difficult to put a man on the moon. They asked, you know, whether it's possible and they found ways to make it happen. So the language learning is not a destination destination, sorry, with a clear path to follow. It's a journey that will lead you down many different paths. There are many paths, you know, like to fluency, but what they all have in common is that you are the one who has to walk down, walk down them. You are the one who um, sets your pace. You are the one who is responsible at the end of the day for failure or success.